This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. You do a run-in for Canyon's match with Booker T. You hit Booker with the guitar to help Canyon get the win. That sets up the main event. But let's talk about the moment of truth. Here's the write-up from the Observer. Hulk Hogan pinned Jeff Jarrett to theoretically win the WCW title. Vince Russo came out looking forlorn. Jarrett came down. Russo told him to lay down. Russo threw the belt in the ring like he was mad. Hogan put his foot on Jarrett for the pin. Jarrett got right up and walked out and didn't look very happy in the process. Hogan said it was bullshit like this that Russo was doing that was ruining wrestling. The announcers went on and on about what they just saw, saying it was real life, not part of the format, etc. How tense was this right before it happened and actually as it's happening? Just talk me through your experience. You know, there's no way to describe the trepidation that I had. Slick Johnson's probably the only person on earth that could give a glimpse into it because when I walked through the curtain, I had my game face on and, and I'm going to work, but backstage, knowing what I was about to do, my music playing. And again, we're going to do a watch along on this at some point on how long it took me from the time my music hit to the time I got to the ring. Cause I was really just second guessing the whole deal, but coming out and knowing, and you know, the people, the people didn't know. I knew the people, look, the people hated slap nuts and love talk especially in Daytona. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. Let's what kind of match are they they didn't know any of this. And and you could like any world title match with some build and some some build up to it and and look, we hate Jarrett and you were one of those, but you know, the, the, I was a heel, Hogan was a babyface and they wanted to see the match. And me playing the tape forward and knowing this is what we're about to do. And the reaction that was going to take place. And I'm a part of it. And not only that, they got to see my ass back out here in 30 minutes to have a match. Like, guys, what are you possibly thinking? How do you want your, 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 your hot heel to, to rebound from this in 30 minutes when you're not going to make them mad with heat? You're going to disgust them to the umpteenth degree. I'm the last person they're going to want to see, period. I'm the last talent they're, they're, that they're going to want to see. That's how I felt. That I played the tape forward. Is that making sense, Conrad? Yes. It, it, me, me having to go out, do this BS thing with Hogan. Oh, but Jeff, go back out 30 minutes later and get a hell of a reaction, and, and you and Booker are going to tear the house down. Good for you guys. And now Booker's going to be the whole champion. All in an hour. Disaster. Terrible writing terrible booking and terrible thinking things through. Jeff, I'm curious if you think that all of this was so terrible, why did you keep Vince Russo employed in the wrestling business for so long after this? Good question. Uh, context. Uh, he was back, you know, cause I, I don't put all of this on Vince, right? There's Eric a lot of negotiations played a role, here. Played a role. WCW played a role. Um, Johnny Ace, play, the, everybody was a part of this culture. But but and also, too, say, is, why did I keep him employed? I think was your direct question. Yes. Because I can create a different culture. Am I delusionally optimistic? A little bit. But I know for 2002 to 2009, it was a different culture in TNA without question. It, it's, it's fascinating to think about, especially with the benefit of hindsight. Let's talk about what we actually saw executed that night. Um, you feel like the actual execution of you laying down Russo coming down, throwing the belt in the ring, Hogan pinning you Hogan, cutting a promo up to that point, everything has gone exactly as you guys laid out to the best of your recollection. But yes, I mean, it was go out, lay down. That's what we're doing. Yes. It's a silly thing. But I, I, I noticed it, and I'm sure there was a conscious effort because of the way this all shook out. When you come to the ring to wrestle Hogan, you're not wearing the big gold belt that's over my head that WCW had been using. You're wearing a cast copy 
from AFX studios that mm -hmm. Andre Freitas made, and it has a nameplate on it that says Jeff Jarrett, but it's black leather and it's all gold. It's not the dual plated one behind me, not the original Hogan's going to take that belt, leave the arena with it. And to this day, uh, it's hung in his beach shop down in Florida and you can go see it, but the you're Jarrett actually going to Hogan nameplate, the Jarrett nameplate. <laughs> that wasn't your belt. That was a copy of the belt. You wore your belt out the real belt later that night to wrestle Booker T somebody in props came to you and said, Hey, don't wear that one. Wear this one. Do you remember that? I don't boy. You are a belt meister, the pod father and a belt meister, but you got, do you know, that's the first time I've been, I took Grado into Hogan's beak shop on mania a couple of years ago when we did something to wrestle with first show that weekend, I went to Hogan's beach shop for the first time. I didn't even realize the Jarrett belt was in there. That is your bash at the beach 2000 belt. Cause he's never back in WCW ever again. You killed him right here. Yeah. I hear you. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's funny that somebody was like, cause that's very almost mob. Like if you want to believe that wrestling is real and we know it's not, but I'm just saying this situation feels like, no, don't let him take the real belt. Yeah. Let him take the bullshit belt. And he just gave Penzer's credibility. Uh, uh, you know, that decision, the, the, the dual Jarrett, um, uh, name plates wasn't thought of day of. So chat me up. He's out of there. He walks with the belt and then Russo cuts a scathing promo. And this is where people start to get their feelings hurt. And there's lawsuits flying back and forth. As far as you recall, the promo that Russo cut, that was also in the original plan or no. I knew he's going to cut a promo. You know, I never like when somebody says GD, but, but I, I knew he was going to give his long Island diatribe. Um, and when Vince wants to cut a promo, he can cut a promo, but I knew that he was going to say, you know, but basically set up the mat. Okay. Here's what was told to me. I'm going to cut a promo out with the old and with the new. That's all that I knew to set up the match with Booker T. And it's the context of that promo that I think. Hogan took issue with, and that's the reason he never came back quote. There's only one way for me to do this. And that is for me to tell you like it is, you know, three weeks ago, I left WCW and quite frankly, I didn't know if I was going to come back. And the reason I didn't know whether or not I was going to come back is because from day one, I've been in W since I've been in WCW, I've done nothing but deal with the bullshit of the politics behind the curtain. The fact of the matter is I have a wife and three kids at home and I don't need this shit, but let me tell you the reason I did come back. I came back for every one of the guys in that locker room who week in week out, bust their asses for WCW. I came back for the Booker T's. I came back for every single guy in MIA. I came back for the animals. I came back for Jarrett. I came back for the guys behind the curtain who give a shit about this company. And let me tell you who doesn't give a shit about this company, that goddamn politician Hulk Hogan, because let me tell you people what happened here tonight in this ring all day long. I've been playing politics with Hulk Hogan. Because tonight Hulk Hogan wants to play his creative control card and to Hulk Hogan. That means tonight in the middle of this ring, when he knew it was bullshit, he beats Jeff Jarrett. Well, guess what? Hogan got his wish. Hogan got his belt and he went the hell home. I promise everybody or else I'll go in the goddamn grave. You'll never see that piece of shit again. Nobody's going to be ripped off tonight. Hulk Hogan now has the WCW belt and Hulk let's refer to that as the Hulk Hogan Memorial. Let my family save your family some cash. You don't need perfect credit. You don't need money out of your pocket, but we will save you money. It's not a matter if it's a matter of how much save with Conrad.com belt, because from here on out, that belt don't mean shit because there will be a new WCW belt. And as far as I'm concerned, that belt still belongs to the guy who busts his ass week in and week out in the middle of the ring. You people can love him or hate him, but he doesn't screw anybody back there. And that's Jeff Jarrett. Now, hold on a minute. Jeff Jarrett's still the official WCW champion, but he'll defend that title in this ring tonight against the son of a bitch back there who for 14 years has been busting his ass in WCW and can't get a goddamn break because of Hulk Hogan. I'm talking about Booker T Booker T and Jeff Jarrett are the two reasons I'm in this damn stinking business to begin with. So tonight in this ring for the WCW title, two deserving guys, Jarrett and Booker will compete for the WCW title and tear this goddamn house down and Hogan. 
you big bald son of a bitch kiss my ass <sighs> it's a masturbatory promo as you said there's no payoff it's not going to help anybody it's not going to draw any money but it is creative but it's a pay-per-view people paid to see jeff jarrett wrestle hulk hogan and it didn't happen we're still getting the jeff jarrett match but now hulk hogan's arch rival is not jeff jarrett his opponent from a moment ago it's the writer backstage, Vince Russo, who just cut a promo. It's hard to imagine anybody ever thought any of this was a good idea. <laughs> I like how you said that so eloquently. No kidding. Seriously. At this point, you, your family's been in wrestling. I don't know, five right. decades, if not longer. 46. This type of promo just flies in the face of everything your family believed in and built, right? The profanity laced GD is, is such a non-starter, but, but the context of the own Vince saying the only reason I'm in this business is Jeff Jarrett and Booker T what that does it people. It was so transparent. Yes. So tra No, nobody believed any of that. Did you is hear the promo as it happened? Huh? Did you hear the promo as it happened? I did hear bits and it, well, oh gosh, Conrad, I don't want to, um, live. Did I hear it? But I've heard it back. So I, I don't recall. Um, but, but j just, it, it, it's, uh, you know, again, hindsight's 2020, but there was just no validity. And, and again, out of context, but Hey, Daytona beach, um, although there are a lot of snowbirds down there, but still it's WCW territory. And Vince has a very thick Long Island accent. And you're talking about Hulk Hogan. Yes, it's Hollywood Hulk. And he had been through that run. But it's still Hulk. Period. There was, there was just, it was bad. <laughs> Do you remember seeing Hulk backstage before he, he and Bischoff left the pillow? Oh, I don't. Uh, my recollection, I came through the curtain. Maybe I listened to a little bit of that promo. But I went straight to book. Because I knew we had a very limited short time a window to put a match together from what i remember i believe the story is as soon as um the show's over or hogan's part is over he and bischoff go jump on a plane and they're out of there like they leave not yes. just the building but they fly out right it what is eric and hulk uh, did, did they say they didn't know about the um uh, so promo and i know i'm I, I think it was the the content of the pro they knew he was going to cut a promo that set something up but they never knew they knew, they didn't agree with supposedly allegedly the whole um you'll never see him again you'll never see that piece of shit again that belt don't mean shit blah 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 but by the way he spoke at new existence we never see hulk hogan in wcw again. i think the whole thing was built around now look again hindsight's 2020 was hogan's renewal and, and, and they, they said, okay, I'm not going to get it renewed, but let me start litigation. I'll get money out of Turner some way. But again, that's hindsight's 2020, but still just the whole thing's a mess. Russo has said in interviews, he told you the next day it was a work, but you always thought it was a work. Why would Russo feel the need in interviews all these years later to say, Hey, it was a work. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, oh, but me and Booker's match was real, right? He really won the world. I mean, just the whole thing is just insanity. So he's going to tell me the next day that it was a work, that the promo was a work. We, uh, yeah. I mean, th that they're, Hey, we're just trying to work the boys, blah, blah, blah. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you're going to notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a funded your loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.